Hello, my name is Ian Reeves. I'm one of the foundation directors from the West of Scotland. I thought I'd just try a quick two-minute introduction to the foundation curriculum changes in 2021. Essentially, there'll be no change to the overall structure. It's still generally likely to be three blocks of four months in each year. And the higher level outcomes have now been changed and include uh, one outcome being as a clinician, the second outcome being as a healthcare worker, and the third outcome being as a professional. In order to support these higher level outcomes, the number of professional capabilities have been reduced from 20 to 13, and these are much more generic than they were previously. Trainees will need to demonstrate links to all three higher level outcomes uh, during their time as a foundation trainee. Highlighted this, there's now no specific set number of SLEs needed overall or per block. It's just expected that they will be able to show activity related to each of the professional capabilities. ALS is not mandatory. And in addition to this change, there will also be more emphasis on mental and population health, which trainees will also be expected to demonstrate related to their high level outcome and the capabilities. Also like to be time for self-development added in for foundation trainees and to help them manage this change. Another change will be that the number of tabs has been reduced from two per year to one per year, although essentially one set of tabs is being replaced by what's called a placement supervision, supervision group report, uh, which will form part of the process and be needed for ARCP. Teaching remains the same, 30 core hours and 30 additional hours, and the PSA remains a requirement as well. One of the other main changes, which will be completely new for trainees, I suspect, is that they will be asked to complete a summary narrative for each block. This is a description of what they've done and how they think it meets their training needs and the objectives and the professional capabilities within foundation training. Thank you very much for listening.